Happy 2020, happy new year. Um, gonna do a fitting of a sat nav bar from SRC Cycles on my Kawasaki Versus 2013 with the help of my little one and Tam. You're cleaning the bike, sausage, are you? <laughs> so I've been taking the front bit off. Um, it's rather confusing, but it looks like quite a difficult thing to get into. There's this one here that's not so bad, but you've got to really make sure you get a long extension in there and a 5 mil on there as well. So just start loosening that off because you need these off to set the bar behind this plate here. I'll show you in a minute. I've, my bike's got a nice afro apparently, thanks to the bubble machine. <sighs> really? What I ended up doing was using the uh, position set up on the old screen. And the ch down. child has got the screen. <laughs> right, Roy, could you put that back down, please? No, don't throw it. Do you have a screw left in that? Uh, yes. Okay. There it is on the floor next to the leaves. Got it. So, I set the screen position up like it was originally. And I had to put the... Uh, there, there's um, ends up being a, a three or four mil to put this back in the screw size is slightly different to the original to the screen that the MRA screen that came with it so I'm just going to take that in nice and gently sorry I'm slightly distracted because I'm a child at the moment um, and lots of no and watching out what he's doing with the other bikes so I'm just going to do a hand tight on either side and just make sure it's nice and secure but from the front it's now got a sat nav bar mounted to it um, basically, because what I want to do ultimately is move this clawed lock off the bar so it gives me full range on my dash zone instrumentation so I can see things like the oil pressure light. Uh, so that's my way with it. A little bit of a struggle to get it on um, because it's not the standard uh, Kawasaki screen for this bike, um, but there it is fitted on there. It's a little bit of a close fit. Um, personally, I don't mind. What I'm going to do now is take the quad lock and mount it up there because that's where I want it. So we'll see how that goes. Wish me so, so far, so good. Uh, just as a little tip, um, note to self, make sure you tighten the bolts up here and here before you put the screen on. It becomes a little bit awkward. I had to sort of pull the screen out a little bit just to get some uh, some purchase on it to get the screen on, uh, to get the bar tightened up, but cause it was rotating before up here. So, But good news is, just got to turn the quad lock, make sure it sits the phone on nicely. So that one's all sorted now. Um, yeah, really good position. Uh, phone sort of sits like at this angle here. So it sort of sits across like that. So it actually puts the screen right in the middle in relation to where I put the quad lock, so it's really good. Um, definitely recommend it. Um, haven't had a chance to actually test it out on the uh, road though to see if there's any vibration, but we'll see how that goes. Cool, thanks for watching and uh, take care and I'll see you soon.